with the Blue Belt program. And what we do is uh, we utilize streams, ponds, and wetlands to convey stormwater instead of doing it traditionally with pipes out in the street. DEP has preserved or constructed more than 60 Blue Belt wetlands on Staten Island to reduce roadway flooding and improve harbor water quality. We're standing right now behind the um, Richmond Creek Blue Belt. This is the oldest Blue Belt that we've had on Staten Island. It's the first ones that we've constructed. And the program that we have ongoing now with our partners, the New York State DEC, and with some of the schools around the, in the area, is that we go and we count the eels that come into the, um, into the water body. And the reason that is important, it shows that the water quality from all the work that we have done from a sewer standpoint has improved the water quality in the area in the streams and ponds to the point where the eels come. Eel populations are an important indicator of water quality, and experts have seen a resurgence in New York following more than $10 billion in harbor water quality investments over the last decade. The Blue Belt program saves tens of millions of dollars in infrastructure costs when compared to providing conventional storm sewers for the same land area. This program demonstrates how wetland preservation can be economically prudent and environmentally responsible.